Good morning. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, that's brilliant. Oh yeah, just got the email. Perfect. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Bye bye. By the way, guys, I'm so sorry about my appearance. I mean, hello, I look so sexy right now, you know. Haven't brushed my hair. I'm wearing my pyjamas. Um, hey ho. We haven't told anyone that we are uh, moving out now, ish, now. But yeah. So this is going to be more a... Hi guys, we're moving tomorrow, see you later. <laughs> We've got exciting plans soon, but I don't want to get to that just yet. You will know about everything. But yeah, at the moment, this is what's happening. I'm just going to sit down and talk to you, give you a little update, house-wise. It's been really, really challenging, uh, the house process. This week, I literally made, I think it was around 16 or 17 calls to different houses. And uh, obviously, some of them were taken already, the other ones were... Uh, we will get back to you. The other ones were well, okay. Let's view it. And obviously, Renato, he's at work, and uh, he finishes really late. So by the time he finishes, like most of the agencies are shut. So I took over the bulk of making the calls and uh, arrange the viewings, uh, try and negotiate prices and everything like that to accommodate our budget and everything. And it's been challenging because. We've seen, so far, we've only seen two properties, but for example, today we have another viewing and then we have another one tomorrow, but it's been booked to Monday. And we had so far one, two, three, four, five viewings on, on Saturday. We hated the first property that we saw. We were just like, it just, it's not for us. Um, and then yesterday when we went to see the other property, we absolutely loved it. It was, if I, I'm going to tell you, if the floor, like I loved everything, including the floor, but if the floor was the color I was looking for, which was like, um, more like a beigey grayish tone, that house was made for me. <laughs> it was literally made for me. Absolutely loved it. Uh, spacious as well. The bedroom wasn't too spacious. Perfect for me and him. Uh, the bathroom was spacious. It was amazing. Like, everything was modern. The kitchen and the living room, amazing. It had a balcony pointing to the back, which means like it was the quieter part. And all you see, because it's the first floor, all you see is just trees. You can see like, you can see the bottom, which is like the car park and like a house there and a house there but it's covered with trees so it's oh it's kind of peaceful um but the price was over the budget so i'm really sad about that i tried to negotiate they said most probably they won't reduce the price and um i called in this was yesterday and then i called in today again and said look we really like the property. Um, we do have loads of other viewings, but I want to know if actually we can bring the price down or not. And he said the price we were asking, it's a no. I did arrange another viewing to that house on Saturday because we would have viewed every single property by then, apart from the Monday one. But to be fair, the Monday one doesn't, it doesn't take over this property or the one we're viewing today. So I don't think I'll be based on the Monday property, if that makes sense. I don't know, I don't, I don't know, but I just, I just wanted to give you an update of how things are going. I'm very stressed. Um, I'm very nervous. I don't know, like I'm scared of choosing the wrong property, uh, money-wise, space-wise, landlord-wise, because you never know who, like, who you're going to end up with landlord-wise. Like, you never know if the person is going to be, is going to commit, is going to be responsive, is going to be like on it. I know that the property we're watching, we we're looking at today. The guy said the landlord is really nice. Like, he's flexible, he's very responsive, and uh, the house has been very well looked after. But I, guys. 
if I could have just showed you the property yesterday, you would have literally tell like you would have said, get it. Just just get it. It's just beautiful. Everything there is just beautiful. But then because we have other plans, obviously we're gonna rent now and our initial plan wasn't that. But we have other plans which hopefully when it starts happening I can start documenting it to show you. Um that would mean we would have to rent for now. So we need to have a spare amount at the end of the month to go towards that project, if that makes sense. So we can't really be like, yeah, let's just get it and then get to the end of the month and it's just like, we can't actually put that money to the project. Then that defeats the point, basically. I'm trying to be like as open as possible without giving too many numbers, because I don't like that. But there's no there's no reason for me to hide it or anything like that and I just think like people that are in this process right now it would be interesting for them as well because this is a very interesting time to move uh, because of coronavirus and everything <sighs> it's just stressful and it's not easy to move out it's not easy to find a property it's not easy to buy stuff and actually move and put the stuff in there put everything together and it's going to be Christmas time soon what I've said to Rona is, if this property, we're going to see loads more properties. If on Saturday it hasn't been taken by other people that go view it, if it hasn't been taken then that means something. When we can rethink about it. If it has been taken, mate, it wasn't meant to be. <laughs> so that's how I'm trying to think without like trying to be a bit more positive rather than, oh my god, what if the property's gone? I mean, if the property's gone, it just wasn't meant to be. I literally can't wait to know in the future what property we're gonna go for. <laughs> I'll keep you updated. Okay, so I'm about to head to the gym. We haven't been going to the gym every day because obviously we've been seeing the properties at past six and that's the time we normally go to the gym. So yeah, I'm going to the gym now. I'm gonna do upper body and then we're gonna go later today to do lower body because it's legs day today. There's no viewings today. <laughs> oh, um. Okay, so, whew. yesterday's viewing went amazing, like I can't even explain, uh, it couldn't have gone any better. That property is a two bed instead of a one bed, it's not as modern as the other one, but everything has been renovated, everything, floors, walls, carpets, kitchen, windows, doors, everything i preferred yesterday's rather than the wednesday one is it wednesday yes the wednesday one so i preferred yesterday's rather than the wednesday's one uh renato still prefers the wednesday's one which is the much more like brand new um the building uh finished being like renovated in august so like no one has ever lived there so he's very like leaning towards that one, although it's more expensive as I told you. I told the guy because he said this, he called me this morning to ask about how the property was, did you like it, whatever, and I was like, I'm obsessed, absolutely now with the blah blah here, I want it. Uh, <laughs> and then I said, as we spoke, we can offer this amount of money, uh, is this still okay? And he said, yes, absolutely. Uh, as I said, the landlord is looking around that price, so that's fine. But there were more people that offered more. So you've got two op uh, options. You can stick with your offer or you can go above. I'll send you a form and then you fill it up and send it to me and I'll send it to the landlord and I will get back to you today or Monday. So either today or Monday, we're going to have a... <sighs> this is very overwhelming, by the way. We're gonna have a response. If they say no, <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> if they say no, then we still have other properties to view on Saturday, as I told you. <sighs> it's a big, it's a big yes for me, that house. And uh, the only thing Renata didn't like is the hallway because it's much smaller than the other one, the hallway. The house itself, I think it's pretty much the same size. It's just got an extra bedroom. But it's the whole way, it's the, the first impression of the house that you like, ooh, you know? And this one is not that oof, you know? Because it's, it's much older than the other one, obviously. But 
we're not going to spend time in a hallway. Do you know what I mean? I don't care about the hallway. <laughs> I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited. And I'm really nervous about everything. I've been very overwhelmed with everything because obviously, as I told you, I'm doing everything. And even though I feel comfortable and okay to do it, it gets to a point that I'm just like, I just need to know the outcome of this because I'm very uncertain about a lot of things like, which one would it be and um, how much actually are we going to pay and how much shall we start actually making our calculations can we start viewing st stuff for the property you know and at the same time I've got work and at the same time I've got this and at the same time I've got gym <laughs> and at the same time I've got Instagram to post like workout videos and stuff so it, there's a lot going on right now and I'm trying as much as I can to document like little parts of this journey it's not a total like show you around everything because obviously I can't do that um, and I don't want to give like a bad impression to the agency it's been it's it's been challenging if you're going through a if you're going for like a you moving out or something it's I feel you and Jesus Christ I am like and the thing is I think because we're closer to move out we are just like, can we just move out already? This year has been an eye-opener for me. And uh, I've been really like, whatever life throws at me, I'm going to take it without being afraid of the risks. Because risks are the things that get you somewhere. That can be bad risks, it could be good risks, but you just need to take it because you learn with it. Even if you fail, you learn with it and then you'll become better. And that's life. And this is the thing school doesn't teach you. So, I wish they did, but they don't. So... If you feel that it's right, do it. Never, never give up. I know this is very cliche, but never give up because if you're really hungry about it and if you really want to succeed, I promise you, you will. You just need to be your hard work and if you're willing to do that, then that's the secret. Consistency is the key. That goes for life, that goes for gym, that goes for your goals, that goes for moving out, anything. Consistency, consistency is the key we haven't done much this year obviously no one has ish but me and I have been quite like right what is the plan what shall we do what can we do let's start like we very we've been planning a lot this year instead of doing a lot we've been planning we've been studying we've been uh, improving our knowledge about everything and let me tell you we are nearly ready to smash it and but I'm not gonna cry <laughs> all of this to say that life will surprise you whenever you're least expecting it whenever life puts you in a situation that you like I don't know where I'm at I don't know how to feel I don't know what to think I promise you that you you will know when to do something you will know when the right time is and no, don't let anyone stop you from doing anything one thing I can advise you for sure about anything in life conquer your achievements in silence work in silence don't tell anyone your plans until you're there because when you're there <laughs> they will know that you've succeeded okay you don't need to tell anyone your plans if you want to do it, do it. And when it happens, that's when you tell. This has gone really like, <laughs> to another extent. I hope this like inspired you somehow, motivated you, whatever. I'm very emotional today uh, because as I said, I'm very overwhelmed with a lot of things and uh, this shit has been a roller coaster, everything for ev everyone. But it's also been a very, very eye opener year in terms of where do you want to be in life? What do you want to conquer in life? What do you want to be? And how do you how do you want to do it? How do you want to do it to be there? And if you're if you're afraid of risks, take them. Take them. Obviously, you go there with your eyes open. But you've studied it and you're ready. Then do it. I can't believe in one week we might be closing. I was going to say closing a deal. <laughs> We're not closing a deal. Uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> One week. Let's see. Probably in Christmas time I'll still be at home. <laughs> I'll let you know about uh, Saturday. 
it's Saturday and today is the day that we have six viewings. We've been to the first one uh, at 10, it's currently 10.36. We've been to the one at 10. Uh, we absolutely love the area. We love the layout of the house. It's decent size, although it does need a lot of work uh, to the house. Uh, the lady was lovely. I even found out that her son works in the same place as me, which is what are the odds? But yeah, she was lovely. I was coming. He went to pee. Okay. <laughs> he absolutely loves this 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 house. Honestly, he's like in love. Oh, I would love for him to fall and get it on camera. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I was just tell telling them. Telling I was them. just telling them about the property that we just saw. Like, we <laughs> love the area. We always loved that area. Yeah, we actually initially uh, wanted to buy a property there. We wanted there. to buy a property there, yeah. We've seen uh, <clears throat> Anna was always on it. Always on it, checking property. Okay, there's a new property there, there's a new property there. And when, literally, when, when literally. we decided that we wanted to rent, we actually decided that we wanted to rent. At in that, that place. area. Oh my god, yeah. We were parked I never in that, that area because we go to that area so much just to see it because we really like that area. And it's it's so, really nice. It's so convenient for us. And we've seen this property. I told Anna, and obviously she knows she needs a lot, it needs a lot of work it done. Needs, it needs but a I lot like, of work. I like it because it's in that area. Yeah. That we it really wins love. a lot, just the and area. The, the, the house is actually spacious. And it needs, but the thing is, it needs. It needs everything. Floors, literally, literally, I was just telling painting, you, it needs everything. A new bathroom, <laughs> carpet, or take the carpet out for floors. Oh it's, it, it's, yeah. But again, new kitchen. New ki basically. Like, we it, need a brand new house. It's making, it's making it sound like we fucking, if the house is bloody, you know. No, I mean it has. It is a bit damaged in the kitchen. There's like a hole. Um, one of the doors of the bathroom has a hole in it as well. The bathroom is dated, like on top of the sink, it's a window. In, you can't put a mirror, there's a window. So the mirror has to be on top of the toilet. It's not a major thing, but like it's the little things that you, you're not gonna move to somewhere that you think like, actually, I'd love to change this, 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 right? Cause you're not gonna be happy. So we it's are not just flat. like- It's not a bad flat at all. We liked the layout of the flat. It's not bad. It's this one though. <laughs> oh my god! Amazing. Mm. Floor, amazing. Kitchen, oh my amazing. god. Everything. Bathroom, amazing. There's not one thing that you say. Everything. Oh, actually, the only thing of that house is only has two windows. Oh yeah. But it's big doors, obviously. It's big because doors. Because it's both windows are pointing this side. Yeah. And I don't know where the sun is, <laughs> but I think it goes like that. So we wouldn't get. If that makes sense. Yeah. Let's go have a look again. The thing is, oh my god, like, I'm excited to go in and see it again, but I'm just like, why are we doing this to ourselves? Let's go have a look again then. Anyway, we're just gonna ask like a more, more like, few questions, <laughs> see what actually we can do to make a decision. Because we lost, we pretty much lost a house that <gasps> yeah, we, we... I haven't told you yeah, this. We lost a house that we liked, and I liked more than me. It's the house it's that you saw before this clip, basically, because I, I done a little thing before we went to see... Before he called me to say that there was someone that offered yeah, more than um, us. It's it was a nice house. It was renovated. It's everything new. Um, it's amazing. And it's amazing. a good. It's a cal calm area. You get allocated parking. Everything. Uh, I wasn't. Like, I liked the house, but it, it it didn't feel as good as this. But obviously, when you when you seeing houses, you're gonna have that favorite one. But, and then you're gonna have that second favorite one. And I told Anna, yeah. if we can't move to this one, and if we can move to the one that you like, I like as well. I liked as well. Yeah. I'm I'm up for it, of course, because I liked it as well. If I didn't like it, we wouldn't we wouldn't even talk about it. But, yeah, yeah. And this one, we, we like it. I mean, we who like doesn't? It so much that we who come doesn't? in for the second time. Who doesn't? Just you know to what see I mean? it during the day because we went at night and we yeah. don't know if it gets a uh, normal light. But I, I know, just with two big windows, it's gonna get light only on the bedroom and living room. 
Right, anyway, let's go. To let's go. House. Okay, so. Okay, my plans were. Oh. <laughs> we got, went into the house alone. She stayed outside. Today she's been amazing with us. She's been she amazing has. with us, and you'll find out why. Um, so we were in the property, and I told Anna, listen, this is the, the house that the best house we've seen. We put an offer in. I know it's over our budget, but we can still afford it, and we can still do our plans. Um, we put an offer in. If the landlord says yes, we then say, okay, let's go for it or not. So I know, like, okay. Let's, okay, do, yeah, let's, let's, do, that. let's do that, let's you know? That. Like, we have nothing to lose, so, so we can always pull out. Yeah, we, we spook, we, we're speaking to her about bills, etc. We speaking to her and say, so who do I speak to to put an offer in? Oh, you can speak to me or... Michael, uh, which my, is another person in the my, agency. Yeah, agency, yeah. Uh, so I, uh, and I was like, so how did you do it? Uh, so, <laughs> what did you do? I said, okay, I'm just going to tell you now. We, we're interested. We want it. We want it, yeah. So <laughs> That was me. I literally like, you can tell me. And I was like, okay, so shall I just tell you now? <laughs> yeah, we want She's it. She's like, yeah. I was like, yeah, we want it. Oh, well, okay. It, uh, just, it just came out, you know? Um... It's nice because everyone's moving in because it's a new building since August. Yeah. So it's got all this on three, three, four months old. So everyone's just moving in. Pff, it's, it's crazy. We're going to put an offer in and we most probably probably are going to move in. Yeah, so when we put the offer in, we were filling in the papers and I told her, we still have other houses to see. And she's like, uh, You know, if you put this deposit down, it's non-refundable. Yeah, it's not refundable. Like, if, you say, if you say no, the landlord gets it. I'm like, um, oh, I'm glad you said that. <laughs> yeah. And she was like, okay. Okay, uh, let's do something. She was like, okay, let's do something. I won't show the flat. I'll show the other two that are still for sale. I mean, yeah. to rent. But I won't show yours. So I was like, oh my God, thank you. Yeah, um, yeah that's so cool of her. And, and we are on the way now to see another property with her. And to move in. We can move in. You're going to move in on the 31st of October. Yeah, she said, shall we say the 31st? I was like, yeah. Yeah, why not? Oh my God, we're going to host Christmas. And then after this, we have one at 12. We have another one at 12.45. We have another one at 2.15, like, yeah. wait, and then there's another one at 3.30. I'm glad I, I mentioned to her that oh, we, we were still see properties. That's why, that's why she's like, uh, do you know that if you put the deposit down now? And she was like, okay, let's relax. I yeah, was filling yeah, yeah. in and she was like, okay, let's relax. Let's hold on a bit. <laughs> yeah, um, we are excited that we put the, the offering in this house because it's a really nice flat and we lost the flat that we liked. And, and we don't really want to lose this one. By the pictures, it's better than the ones that we're going to see now. Much better than the ones that we're going to see now. Um, that's why we want to secure it. We really like this one. As soon as we walked in the first time, it was amazing. <gasps> it's this. Okay. Okay. One second. <laughs> Nice flat that we just saw. We, we just saw another flat, guys. Sorry, this has been like a uh, one and off. I'm gonna call my mom and I'm gonna be like, Mom, I'm calling it. Just for garden center for some plants. <laughs> done so yeah we just told <gasps> Zara the yes. estate agent of uh, our new home I sent her a message we Yee! said we said we said we are all ready to go for the property I'm so excited <laughs> don't give me a hug oh my god oh mm. I'm so excited 
I'm gonna have to live with you every day now. For the rest of your life, I'm so Fuck. sorry. I'm so sorry. Are you ready? No. <laughs> yes. Are you? I've been ready for a very long time. I'm not ready for you to be arguing with me every day. <laughs> if you do the washing, uh, if you don't leave your clothes on the floor, if you help me with the house stuff, if you pay your bills on time, uh, yeah. Setting rules already, you see? Yeah, obviously. Oh, obviously. Obviously, you have to. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy. <gasps> oh, oh my god. I'm not in there. Fucking hell. Stop. I'm happy. So, what are you going to do now? IKEA. <laughs> We don't even know dimensions, that's the thing, we don't know the dimension of the room. It's fine, but we do need to get the stuff though. Uh, how are you going to get the stuff without knowing dimensions? Well, oh you, buy a, you buy a bed and then you can't put okay, side table. Okay, so do you want to go range and get, or cover a wall to get a kettle and a toaster and stuff like that? Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> oh my god. We don't need to get, uh, we don't need to get a microwave because I have a microwave and got yes. a potato, you know what I mean? <laughs> it hasn't synced. No, it hasn't synced, yeah. I, I, think, I feel I like I, I feel like I just like I just bought something and uh, <laughs> I'm just like whatever. <laughs> I just bought something. Oh my god! I can't. No, wait. What? What just happened? I don't know. What just happened? What just happened? <laughs> well, this video isn't gonna be up until we move. I know. When are we gonna tell Josh and Wendy? When we have the key. Oh my god. Renny and Josh. <laughs> when we have the no, things, they, they, things in the house? They would already know after this video. Oh my god, oh my god, what? Two weeks! Two weeks! Two weeks! <laughs> Two weeks! What? I got so much shit to pack! Oh my god, man, fucking packing everything. Oh, black. Black is gonna be too dark, right? Okay, Renato, at this precise moment, um. I am. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's that? <sighs> anyway, I'm really happy with the decision, and I'm really happy that I am documenting this. Documenting. Documenting this. Fucking English not happening today, <laughs> mate. Documenting this. I don't really want to go to the toilet. Okay. This. <laughs> because I ate two, two triple cheese burgers. Ricardo, if you're watching this, <laughs> I ate two triple cheese burgers. And it's Your PT nice. is not going to be happy with you. It's That's what nice I'm saying. All. I have something to tell you. What? <laughs> you ready? You're not ready. <laughs> we got the house. Did we? Yeah. Are you sure? But we're still sending the documents. I know. But he sent me the email. On that email I sent you, at the top, it said congratulations and uh, all the documents have been approved. Just sent over the missing ones that you still haven't sent and all the things what if, that... What if we, with the documents that are missing, they're not, you know, they're no, not good? It's, it's, it's just my, the scan of my passport that I forgot. Yeah, my it's fine. three bills of thing, yeah, you know. That's fine. What if it doesn't That's just to prove your address. Oh, <laughs> So we got the house. It's officially ours, and we're officially moving on the 31st. Good. You I'm happy? happy. Are you happy? You're happy. I am happy. Mm. Of course, I'm happy. End of the month with Ron. You happy? Are you sure you want to live with me? <sighs> we shall soon see.